the summit said in 150. Glory to your name, God. Praise ye the Lord. Yes. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the summits, symmetry and, and heart. Yeah. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Yeah. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Yeah. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Yeah. That everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord. Yes. All right. God our Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You did it again. Yes, sir. You woke us up to see another day again. You gave us health and strength again. You clothed us in our right mind again. You let us travel the dangerous highway and make it here safely again. We thank you, our God. But nothing we did that that what that we deserve it for us all because of your grace yes, you. and your mercy. Yes. Yes, Lord. Giving us what we don't deserve. Yes. And holding back from us what we rightly do yes. deserve. Yes. Yes, Lord. Our Father, how we thank you. Oh, we thank you Lord. We thank You've you. been good to us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Yes. I hear mama saying, I had 10,000 tons. Yes. I couldn't thank you enough. Yes. For what you've done for us. My Lord, my Lord. Thank you for this service. Bless this service. Pray your Holy Spirit will fall fresh upon yeah. us. That we'll be better because of this service. We will leave better than we were when we came here. Thank you for the saints, our Father. Bless each one here, our Father. And the ones that are watching online. Bless them also, our Father. Thank you right now. For Sister Young, continue to hold her, continue to keep her, continue to bless her, like only you can. Then we pray for the word, our Father, that the word will go forth today, that the word will convince, convince, and convert. We will live better and do better because of your word. In your mighty name of Jesus the Christ, we pray.
It's preaching time. This is your word. My Lord, my Lord. These are your people. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Your servant hears. Yes. Pray the words of my mouth. Meditation of my heart will be acceptable in that sight. My Lord, my Lord. Oh Lord, my strength and my yes, Lord. Lord. Because when it's all said and done. We pray that the lost will come to you. That your church will be more like you. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Reverence to Almighty God, to these preachers. Uh, Mr. Foreman, Mr. Powell. We have a minister visiting with us today. What's his name again? Minister Carter, he's a member of uh, Miller Avenue Baptist Church. Uh, Pastor Carter, right? All right. Pastor Carl, a great preacher. Amen. In our city. Happy to have him worship with us today. Amen. Amen. We want to go to the book of 2 Thessalonians. All right. Second Thessalonians. free course uh -huh. and be glorified even as it is with you yeah. and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men mm -hmm. for all men have not faith all right. but the Lord is faithful, he is faithful. Yes, he is. who shall establish you and keep you from evil yes, he will. Yes, he will. and we have confidence in the Lord touching you that you both do and will do the things which are which we command you, mm -hmm. and that the Lord directs your heart into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. All right. Thank you so much for standing. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, I talked about something good has got to come out of, the, out of, out of this. All right. Today, I want to talk about someone good has got to come out of this. Someone good has got to come. Someone good. Out of this. Yes, sir. My brothers and sisters, the Apostle Paul in this epistle to the Thessalonian believers wanted to encourage them to continue to trust God. Uh -huh. As a race of people, some of the psychological scars that we have, uh, one of the deep seated, deep seated scars we have is a lack of trust. All right. Uh, we're only a few generations away from slavery, and our ancestors were forced into servitude. Yeah, yeah. Had to deal with the inhumane treatment of being beaten. The women raped. Mm -hmm. Families separated. Yes. How could they trust the master who specialized in physical and mental abuse All right. in order to break their will? But we have another master who also specializes. And he can do what no other power can do. All right. He does not want to break our will, he wants us in his will. Yeah. And he brought us from the plantation to six weeks vacation. Yeah. Yeah. From picking cotton to picking cow and corn. Yeah. From being whipped to driving luxury whips. From working all day in the sun to most of us have to take vitamin D for because of a lack yeah. of sun. Yeah. All right. God has brought us from a mighty long way. Long way, long way. But these last few months have shown us that we still have a long way to go. Yes, still have not arrived and we still have yeah. some scars, yeah. some trust issues. And for someone good to come out of this, for, for me to come out better on the other side, what do I need to do? Right. How can I regain trust? How can I move forward? How can I let go and let go? All right. Well, the Apostle Paul helps us out with that in this, in this letter 
to the Thessalonian believers. The text says, finally, finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course yeah. and be glorified even as, as it is with you. Mm -hmm. Number one, we need to be connected to God. Yeah. All right. And the way to stay connected to God is to, is to stay in the word of God. Mm -hmm. The word of God is a guide. Yeah. It's a road map that keeps me on track and keeps me moving in God's direction right. toward God. Yes. All right. You cannot get to a destination going, going in the wrong direction. Right. If I get on I-45 trying to go to Dallas, I can't go south because that's the wrong direction. Wrong direction. I, can't, I want to go to Galveston, I can get on 45 and go north because it's the wrong direction. Wrong direction. You will never get to God going against the word of God. Yeah. That's what I mean. You're living, living with this guy. All right. You're good enough to shack up with, uh -huh. but not good enough to marry. Yeah. All, right. All right. And you ask God to bless this relationship. No, no. And why would he buy a cow when he's getting the milk for free? Yeah. All right. Good. Take it a step higher. You steal somebody's wife or steal someone's husband and y'all get married, and you stand before a preacher, Standing for in front of the church and say, Lord, bless his marriage. But God not gonna bless your mess. No, you won't do it. He's not gonna endorse your force. No. God don't work like that. Blessings don't work like that. No. Alright. And plus, if he cheated on you, he gonna if he cheated on you on, uh, with the other person to get you, then he's gonna cheat on you too. Amen. Amen. You on the episode of <laughs> episode of cheaters. Suspect leaving his house. Yeah. Two thirty in the morning. Yeah. On cheaters. Yeah. Yeah. Still in for my job. Talk, preacher. Talk. Turn around and say, God, thank you for my job. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before you lose that job if you keep stealing from that job. Amen. Amen. Listen, you cannot go against the word of God and expect God and expect to stay in the will of God. Amen. It don't work like that. No. Man was driving down the street one day and he looked and he saw Jesus hitchhiking. He looked and said, that's Jesus. What do you He's hitchhiking. So he pulled over, got out of his car and went around to the other side and said, Jesus, what you doing? I did hitchhiking. Let me give you a ride. Just come on, get in the car. He opened the passenger side door and Jesus just looked at him. He said, what's wrong, Jesus? You don't, you don't want to ride? Oh, I, I know what it is. He's my bad. He opened the back door. He said, Jesus, you need to be chauffeured around. Come on, get in the back, Jesus. I'm going to chauffeur you around. Jesus just looked at him. He said, oh, Jesus, what's, what's wrong? You don't want to You don't want to get in the front? You don't want to get in the in the back? Oh, I, you, Jesus, you want the driver's seat? You want to take the wheel? Jesus said, yes, I want to take the wheel. Because if Jesus got the wheel, then you would always be in his wheel. You've had enough accidents. You've had enough problems. You've had enough wrong turns. Let Jesus take the wheel. And you always be in his wheel. The word of God, it, it keeps me keeps me on track. It keeps me focused. And we need to stay connected to God through the word of God because the only thing that God is bound by is his word. He's not bound by energy, by matter, by time, by space, but God is faithful to his word. You can stand on his word. And the word is loaded with promises. But in order to receive the promise, we must first follow the principle. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, that's the principle. That's you. Then I will, then I will hear from heaven and Forgive their sins and heal the land. Yeah. That's the promise. That's, that's him. Yeah. All right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's you. And all these things will be added unto you. That's him. Yeah. If we confess our sins, that's you. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all our righteousness. That's him. Yeah. Come unto me all that labor and heaven labor and I will give you rest. That's you. And I will give you rest. That's him. 
Trust the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. And all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Yes. That's him. Yes. All right. We have to obey the principle before we can re receive the promise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you want the promises of him, you must first obey him and stay connected to him. Yeah, that's it. So first we need to be connected to God. Second, we need to be covered by God. Cover, cover. Paul says, pray for us that we are covered by God. Cover, cover. That God will deliver us from unreasonable and wicked men. Yeah. It seems like everywhere we look, we see unreasonable and wicked men. Yeah. Trying to hinder the advancement of God's kingdom. Yeah. Wicked politicians, wicked judges, wicked law enforcement officers, yes, yes. wicked bosses. Yes. Jesus said, upon this rock I'm going to build my church. Yes, and the gates of hell shall not prevail yes, against it. Yeah. In other words, Jesus is saying, I got you covered. Yeah. We'll cover. And no weapon formed against you That's shall it. prosper. Thank you. Jesus is saying, I'm not going to leave you by yourself. I got you covered. You're covered. Matter of fact, Jesus is saying, I'm, I'm leading you. You heard me say, I am the way. Yeah. So I'm in front of you. I got, all you got to do is follow me. Yes, sir. Then he placed goodness and mercy behind us. Yeah. Then he said, I put grace on your right and grace on your left. Yeah. I put my Holy Spirit inside of you and I covered you yes. with my blood. Yes, sir. Jesus is saying, I got you covered front, back, and side to side. All right. You got your cover front, back, and side to side. Yeah. Jesus said, I gave them eternal life, and no man can pluck them out of yes, sir. my hand. That's it. He got your cover, I'm telling you. Got your, he got your cover. He got your cover. Yeah. Fret not because of evil doers, neither be envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down. Cut down. Like the grass. I got a lawn more named Jesus. Yeah, all right. So we need to be connected to God. Yes, sir. We need to be covered by God. Yes, sir. And then thirdly, we need to be confident yes, sir. in God. That's it. Verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He is faithful. Who shall establish you and keep you from evil. Yes, sir. And we have confidence. In the Lord touching you. Mm -hmm. If you think back to the worst situation that you've ever been in, seemed like you weren't gonna get out. All right, let go. But you're here today as a living yeah. testimony. Yeah. And if God brought you through that, yeah. He'll bring you through this. He'll bring it. He will do it. Even now that I'm I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I still have moments when I want to want to throw in the towel. Yeah. Want to give up and go back home, Sister Young. But when I think about where God has brought me from, yeah. it was nobody but God. Nobody. Nobody. And diamonds are formed using heat and pressure. pressure. And God uses the heat and pressure of life to form us into the image of his son Jesus. Yeah. All right. You cannot appreciate what God is doing while you're in the fire or in the press because going through the heat and the press does not feel good. No. I remember, Mama used to cook every day. Uh -huh. Some stuff she used to cook, I just did not like them. All right. Liver. Mm. Green beans. Oh, I like them. All right. That old slimy over. <laughs> Mom used to make Patrick used to make salmon croquettes. Oh, oh, I couldn't stand them things. That's good eating, <laughs> yes, But most of that stuff. I didn't, it didn't taste good to me, but it was good for me. Yeah, yeah. 
And that's what life is. Some of the stuff we go through is not, it doesn't taste good going down. No. It doesn't feel good going down. But it's good for you. Good for us. Amen. Used to make me take castor oil. Anybody have to take castor oil? Yeah. Man, that, she gave it for, for everything. Castor oil. But it was, it, it was good for me. Yeah. And it helped me to, to be where I am today. Yes, sir. And that's what, that's, what, that's what resistance does. That's what pressure does. It forces us to grow up. Yeah. To make us big and strong. I was shopping on the aisle for some jump ropes the other day for my daughter. And I, I saw these resistance bands. Mm -hmm. These bands. Yeah. And, and on the box, it, it, it says, designed to build strength. Ain't that something? Yeah. And, and, and the more resistance I get, the stronger I get. Stronger. That's it. Builds my, 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 my triceps and my biceps and makes yeah. me stronger. Yeah. I can stand some stuff now I couldn't stand last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It helps us to, to grow up. It's all right. It don't feel good going through. But when you come out on the other side, yeah. you can say like David, it was good for me that I have been afflicted. Yeah. We have confidence that God is going to get us through the pressing and through the fire because he knows that we are down in the rough. Yeah. All right. And we have confidence that God is able to do what he wills. That's it. Wise to do what is best and faithful to do what he promised. So we have to, number one, be connected. Be connected. Number two, be covered. Be covered. Number three, be confident. Be confident. If you want someone good to come out of this, number four, you need to be committed. Yeah. Be committed. Committed. You need to be committed. Yes, sir. Verse four says that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. Yeah. I don't want to just look like a Christian. Be a Christian. Hey. Oh. I want to be one. Yeah. On the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Help us. But my commitment should be from the inside, inside, yeah. inside yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not committed, if you're committed to God, then a Christian is not just what you do, it's no. who you are. Who you are. Who I am. Yeah. And somebody besides you should know Amen. that you're a Christian. Should have some birth marks yeah, of a Christian. Yeah. We were created by God and for God. So since we were created by God and for God, what are you doing for God? All right. When I eat bacon and eggs in the morning, the chicken that laid the egg, he was involved. But the pig that provided the bacon, he was committed. Yeah. Yeah. I like my potatoes, steak and potatoes, Sister Young. All right. The farm that grew the potatoes, he was involved. But the cow that gave me my ribeye, he was committed. Because listen, commitment requires sacrifice. And your will must die to his will. That's it. What you want is replaced with what he wants. Yeah. Question is, are you involved or are you committed? committed? One of the issues we have in the church is we have 20% of the people doing 80% of the work. Yeah. We got to flip that around and make it easy on everybody. Yeah. Yeah. If you want Success or anything in life, you have to be committed to. We have a generation that don't want to commit to nothing. Don't want to work for nothing. It's not it's not their fault necessarily because uh, we gave them too much. All right, we did too much for them. Yeah. Every Saturday morning, me and I would have to get up and go to work with my mom. Mm -hmm. 
Clean those houses. Yes. I'm 12 years old and I clean in the toilet. Yeah. And it taught me right. You be right here. It taught me how to work. How to, work. Yes, how to commit. That's yes. it. And they see us going to work every day, but we didn't teach them how to work. Paul said there's some stuff you got to do That's it. to be committed. That's it. We want to come out better on the other side of this. We need to raise our level of commitment to God. Yes, Amen. Oh. Amen. Oh. Raise our level of commitment to God. Yes, sir. And finally, we need to be candid with God. All right. Verse 5 says, And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God, into the patient waiting of Christ. All right. When you you need to open your heart in order to in order for God to direct your heart. That's it. You need to open your heart in order for God to direct your heart. All right. No sense trying to run game on God. No. Can't do it. Trying to front on God. Can't do it. One of the things I don't like about social media is you can't pretend on social media yeah. that we got it all together. We only post the best pictures, the best selfies. We like, we do. No, not that one. No, I don't like that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. That's it. Yeah. To get the most yeah, like. likes. Yeah. yeah. The most comments. Yeah. Girl, you looking good. <laughs> Beautiful, girl. Yeah. Yeah. And we can pretend that life is all together. Yeah. And nobody know yeah. that I'm struggling. Yeah. I'm struggling. That I'm going through. Some pain. Yeah. I remember when I was running in the streets, my friend picked me up in his new car. <clears throat> it wasn't new, it was just new to him. Yeah. Amen. And we riding around, hitting corners, doing our thing. I look over and I say, Man, you need some you need some gas. Oh, he, he told me, he said, I need to stop and get some gas. I look over and I see the gas hand is full. I said, man, what you talking about? Your gas hand is full. What you need to get gas for? He said, man, the gas hand broke. He said, How you know you need some gas? He said, I just got a feeling. I got a feeling a lot of us look full. But just as empty on the inside as my buddy's gas tank. And God knows we tore up yes. from the floor. Yeah. So if you open your heart to God, he will fill you up. Yes, he will. And if you're candid with God, if you're up front with God, if you lay your cards on the table with God and agree with God that I messed up, then God will bless you. He'll do it. He will do it. You yes. need to know that nothing, you need to know that, that, that God is not preparing you for the blessing. He's not, no, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me fix it. God is not preparing a blessing for you. He's preparing you for the blessing. For the blessing. For the blessing. But you have to be candid with God. Yes, sir. It makes no difference what you're going through. All right. You're going to make it. Yeah. God's going to see you through. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hold your head up and put a smile on your face. Uh -huh. This is just another test. Another test. It won't last always. No. Get ready for your blessing. Yeah. Get ready for your miracle. Yeah. God's got a blessing yeah. with your name with your on it. Yeah. Can't nobody block your blessing no. but you. Yeah. But you have to be candid yeah. with God. All right. One day I was eating lunch at Chick-fil-A. And a woman came in with her six children. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
She ordered their food and told them to go into the play area and play. Then the food came, the woman said to the children, come and get it. She received, didn't receive any response. A minute later, she went and said, come and get it. She got no response. A few minutes later, she was getting irritated. She said, come and get this food right now. All right. One of them said, Mama, we don't want to come eat now. We just want to play. Yeah. All right. My brothers and sisters here in lies the problem with many of us. He the creator of the universe, the giver of life, peace, and hope is saying, come and get it. You need some relief, come and get it. You need some love, come and get it. You need forgiveness, come and get it. Need another chance, come and get it. You need a friend, come and get it. You need a mother when mama gone, come and get it. Need a father when daddy gone, come and get it. Whatever you need, God's got it, so come and get it. Someone asked what good can come out of Nazareth. He was born of a virgin Mary. He was Joseph's stepson. He was a healer because he touched the blind eyes. He unstopped their fears. He told a lame man, take up your bed and walk. He told a woman with five with the issue of blood, to, your faith has made you whole. He was a caterer because he took two fish and five loaves and fed five thousand. He turned water into wine at a wedding in Galilee. He was a reviver because he raised Jairus' daughter. He raised the widow's son. He told Lazarus to come forth. Jesus had always had haters watching everything he did. They told Jesus, we know you can heal the sick because we saw you heal the lame. We know you can be a caterer because we saw you feed 5,000 and turn water into wine. We know you can revive because you told Lazarus to come forth and you raised the widow's son and Jairus' daughter. But let me ask you a question, Jesus. What if you die and you raise yourself from the dead? And on the cross, he hung from the sixth to the ninth hour. On that cross, his body was beaten and bruised. On that cross, they stripped him naked. On that cross, his body was dehydrated. On that cross, his lungs collapsed. On that cross, his organs shut down. And on that cross, he died. He died. He died. He died. But early Sunday morning, he got up with all power. You can be the someone good that comes out of this. And the reason why you can be the someone good that comes out of this, because Jesus got up, he got up. you can get up. Yes, he did get up. I'm a witness. And he died for you. Yes, sir. So you can live for him. Yes, sir. That's all right. We got to stay connected. All right. We got to stay covered. Yeah. We got to stay confident. Uh -huh. We got to stay committed. Yeah. And we got to stay candid. Yes, sir. That's it. God already knows. Yes, he knows. And what this year should have taught us is that we got no control. No control. No control. No control. Zero. But God is always in control. God ain't, God, God ain't sitting there worrying. Sitting there guessing. Sitting there pondering. No. He already knows exactly what's going on. Yeah.
He's so awesome. There's some things about God that God himself has not seen. All right. He's not seen a problem he could not solve. No. He's not seen a situation he could not handle. No. He's not seen a, a person that he does not know. All right. Has not seen a saved, a soul he could not save. Amen. That's our God. Yes, He's awesome. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And if you don't know him in the pardon of your sins, yeah, God. have not accepted his son Jesus as your Lord and Savior. To know him. Today is a good day. To know him. If you're watching, yes, sir. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus yes, sir. All right. and believe in your heart yes, sir. that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt thou shall be saved. Yes, sir. It's all right. It's just that simple. Amen. Amen. It ain't rocket science. Just accept Jesus. That's it. God. If that's one here in the sanctuary, I'm watching on television or online, I'm telling you. Now is your time. Now is your opportunity. Is there one?